Hot off the press, people, SpaceX has rolled out Starlink Premium. It's a new tier of the satellite internet service. It's five times the price, but this is more targeting business and enterprise customers. So why is it five times the price? Well, it has a more powerful antenna. It has unlimited service locations, which I know a lot of you guys will be really excited about. And it has improved performance in extreme weather. So let's take a look and compare the pricing, standard versus premium. The deposit for the standard is $99 versus $500 for the premium. The hardware for the standard, $499 versus $2,500. And the service per month is $99 versus $500, which is pretty steep. Someone on Twitter asked why the current service is geofenced. Apparently he bought Starlink because he wanted to travel with his RV using it. And someone responded saying geofencing was turned off months ago. A lot of folks in that full-time RV use Starlink as they go around the country. Most have no issues with connectivity in the new locations. However, of course, until we get more satellites up and running, service is not guaranteed. A lot of people who have been waiting for their regular Starlink for, in some cases, over a year are pretty upset that they've introduced this premium tier when those current people waiting in line have not been served yet. Now, currently Starlink has more than 145,000 users in 25 countries across the globe. So far, the user base has generated about $15 million in recurring revenue every month for SpaceX. That's according to a tweet from Sawyer Merritt. So yeah, the price is high, but this is aimed at commercial users. This will enable high throughput connectivity for small offices, storefronts, and super users across the globe. However, some people argue $500 a month is still pretty steep for that performance. But having internet service is better than not having any at all. So if you need that and you have lacked that service, you're probably willing to pay that price. Another Twitter user pointed out that this is a pretty smart strategy. The higher end service will probably help subsidize losses on the normal Starlink terminals, as well as help bring down costs since the parts will be mostly the same. Now, I'm not sure if that is actually true. To me, it seems like the premium terminals would cost a little bit more to manufacture because they were so much more capable, but I don't exactly know the price for those to be manufactured. Someone also said on Twitter that they love Tesla and SpaceX, but they fear they're becoming like Apple and making everything pretty overpriced. So I wanna hear from you guys. Do you think that this Starlink Premium is a fair price, especially considering it's mostly for commercial use? Or do you think, hey, this is still pretty steep and kind of not very appealing? (laughs) Now, Elon also pointed out that these Starlink Premium terminals are twice the area of their standard phased array with a broader scan angle. He also said that SpaceX standard antenna production will rise rapidly this year. So those orders shouldn't have to take so long, but Starlink can still only support a limited number of users in an area. So it is best to order early according to Elon. So even though people are upset that maybe they still haven't received their Starlink order, this could just be Elon and SpaceX getting it out there early enough so people can sign up. And if we know anything about Elon time, it could you know, be delayed from actually seeing those deliveries in quarter two, but that still remains to be seen. But I think for businesses that really could use this, this is just beyond exciting and they're probably willing to pay that price to get that service. And take note that this is a square design, 22 inch square design. And I'm hearing from someone who I will not name that soon to come will be an integrated mesh network. So I want to know from you guys in the comments, is this something that you plan to sign up for? Is this something that you could use for your business or for some sort of commercial use? I love reading your comments and I really hope that you guys stick around because I not only interviewed Scott Manley recently, which I'm so excited to share that interview with you, but I also interviewed Dr. Becky. This was a very popular request from many of you. So I promise you will love that conversation. So make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss it. All right. Have a great day.